Goodness, libraries are certainly spooky at night. If there was ever a perfect time for a well-placed jump scare, boy, this is it. Oh goodness, that is adorable. Whoa, almost scary. Next. Honestly, there are very few things that really make me mad. Stubborn pickle jars, when the Wi-Fi stops working, a shortage of cookies. But one thing that always manages to really make my blood boil are recolor OCs. I mean, look at them. The epitome of evil, insufferable incarnate, the burning hatred in their eyes. Okay, all right. Maybe you don't believe me just yet, so allow me to explain. So, what exactly are recolor OCs anyways? Well, recolor OCs are what you'd expect them to be. The idea is to take any character, whether it be from the show or some other medium, and change the colors while keeping everything else physically about the character the same. For example, let's pretend that we wanted to make a brand new OC, and let's use Twilight as a starting point. However, we couldn't possibly make them look the same, so let's change our hair color. And hey, maybe her coat color should be different too. And you know, while we're at it, let's make her horn green. Perfect. Now all we need is a new name. Hmm, what about Swilight Tarkal? Excellent. Done. We're finished, right? Now I don't know about you, but to me, it just feels so lazy, rushed, and unfinished. Now here's something that may shock you. I love OCs. To me, it's amazing to see what creative ideas people can come up with when making their very own character from scratch. I'm always impressed seeing new OCs that others are creating. However, when it comes to recolor OCs, creativity is thrown out the window, and all that's left is a hollow shell of what could have been a pretty neat character, let alone a cheap copy of the original. It's kind of like looking for the hit new video game of the year, only to find a cheap knockoff version on the shelf instead. Sure, it's less expensive, but you know for a fact that it's gonna be just terrible. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes it's necessary and needed to have a recolored version of an existing character. Maybe you have an alternate universe thing going on, or need it for a story or something, and that's fine. There are ways to use it wisely, and don't let me stop you from being creative. However, what really annoys me are those that recolor existing characters and just pass them off as their own original characters and their own original creations. It's just so lazy. And I understand that you may want your OC to have the same mane, tail, ear shape, whatever, as an existing character from the show, and that's fine to a certain extent, but at least try to make your character look somewhat different, otherwise you just have a lazy copy of the original. Now, obviously, I understand that for some, drawing and making a character from scratch might not be a possibility. Maybe you don't have the ability or the confidence to draw your own character just yet. Or maybe you don't have the tools needed to make your OC right now, and that's fine. But the important thing is to at least try. Try drawing your character with a pencil and paper. Try using free programs such as Inkscape or GIMP to make it. Just try. What's the worst that could happen? The big thing for me is seeing that the creator at least put in their best effort when making the character. If you at least try to put in the effort, then there's really no problem in my books. Believe me, at the end of the day, I would much rather see this than this. And hopefully you agree. And of course, when you're making an OC, if you want them to look like another character in some way, try to find a way to make them different to the original character. Making an exact copy is just dull and lazy, so take a chance and try to make your own OC different in some way. Give them something different, something unique, that sets them apart from the character you're basing it off of. Maybe this is just me, but I'm someone who really enjoys the process of creating a brand new character from scratch. It's fun to think of a backstory, to come up with a name, to consider what they look like, and go about drawing them. Making a recolor OC rips away a large part of that fun and freedom that character creation provides in the first place. But now I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on recolor OCs? Do you hate them? Not mind them? Somewhere in the middle? Let me know in the comment section below. 
I always love hearing what you have to say. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching this video, and with any luck, you're now more aware of the recolor menace. If you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like. As well, don't forget to subscribe, it helps support me for free, and it only takes a click. As well, you can find me outside of the show on Facebook and DeviantArt, where I post artwork as well as real life shenanigans. So once again, thank you so much for watching, this is Tandega signing out.